Brakathea Hawa, Brakathea Hawa Shai, Brakathea Hawa, Brakathea Hawa Shai, Brakathea Hawa, Brakathea Hawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. <coughs> To the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, never well. Shalom, Wahab, Labach, Shasharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Coming back at y'all, coming back at y'all, giving that lesson, Baruch Shah and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And the title of this video is going to be something along the lines of Prophecy Cannot Be Stopped. Prophecy Cannot Be Stopped. And, um,. I was just meditating on that. I was watching, I think it was the elder bishops where I heard it from, but um, one of the elders, one of the brothers, someone I was watching earlier said prophecy can't be stopped. So I went and just typed it in my, uh, typed it in my uh, notes and um, hopefully this is going to be edifying. Hopefully it's going to be uplifting and exhorting. I was also watching the elders in Dallas, all right, the live stream that they did yesterday and um the elder Yashawamba said, "What well, find peace in prophecy, okay? Everything that's going on right now, the apostles been talked about. The apostles been prophesied about, okay? And we're seeing it all come to pass. We're seeing what Isaiah wrote down coming to fruition, okay? We're seeing what's written in Jeremiah, what's written in Amos, what's written in Revelations, what's written all throughout Second Ezra, right? We're seeing these prophecies take place in these last days. And as it says in the book of Habakkuk, though, with Terry, wait for it. Let's start off with that. This is the book of Habakkuk. <coughs> Salakia. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision, make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. We're in the time of these visions coming to pass, these prophecies being fulfilled. <coughs> Salakia. At the end, it shall speak and not lie. Meaning what? It will happen. It will take place. No ands, ifs, or buts about it. Though with Terry, wait for it. Because it will surely come. It will surely come. Okay? <clears throat> In Hebrews, it says, He that shall come, cast not away therefore your confidence, which have great recompense of reward. He that shall come, will come, and will not tarry. Yahweh Shai will surely come. All right, this current society will surely come to an end. <laughs> okay, this place will surely collapse. The kingdom, a righteous kingdom wherein dwelleth all good things, perfect goodness, rest and plenteousness, will surely come to the nation of Israel. Though it tarry, wait for it. All we have to do is continue to wait for it. Because the Lord is going to bless the ones that wait for him. It's, it's not called waiting for no reason, man. It's not called waiting because he's going to come, you know, instantly as soon as we wake up. That's what we thought. I know that's what I thought. I know when I when I woke up to the truth, all right, which this would be my 10th pa Passover. I thought, I thought martial law was going to break out that summer. That's the type of urgency we've been moving in. Every every year we had that same mentality that look this and hey, this could be the year. But now it's closer than ever. Now it's closer than ever. All right. Tomorrow will be another. Will, will, will be closer than ever. All right. And the day after that, that, anything can pop off real soon. They already got the technology. The stage is already set. All the prophecies is popping like popcorn, like the apostles say. We see the visions in effect. Okay. The Neuralink, right? You had that Neuralink, Elon Musk. That was viral. How they see hip somebody, right? And that's not the first person on earth with a see hip. There's all type of people walking around this earth with see hips implanted into them. Okay? So it's going to go down real, real soon. And all we got to do is continue to wait for it. All we have to do is remain faithful. 
The Lord said, because you've been faithful over a few things, I'll give you authority over many cities. It says, blessed is that wise and faithful servant whom when his Lord come shall find him doing. He shall make him a ruler over all his goods, shall find him doing what? Serving him in faith. All right. In the book of Luke 18, it says, uh, it says that the, um, when the son of man comes, shall he find faith on earth? Shall not the Lord avenge his, avenge his own elect, which cried day and night unto him? He shall avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when Yahweh Shai comes, shall he find faith on earth? So showing you that's what he's looking for when he returns. In the book of Hebrews, the 11th chapter, it says that without faith, it's impossible to please him. He that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Faith is the key, impo is the key component. You got IUIC trying to diss us. Y'all faith-based Israelites. Nigga, that's a compliment. Shows you that you small in the Bible. Shows you that your, your spirituality is small. In Ephesians, the second chapter, by grace are you saved through faith, which is not of yourselves. It's a gift of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You calling us faith-based Israelites is saying that we're gifted of the Lord. So thank you. Okay? So that was the point on that Habakkuk. All right, I wanted to get this in the book of Matthews. Uh, the second chapter. This is Matthew chapter 2 and verse 1. Because when the uh, elder bishops, when they said that, you know, when they, when they was going into that topic, this is what came to my mind. All right. This is the book of Matthew, chapter two and verse one. It says, now, when Yahweh Shai was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod, the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. They seen that chariot, right? And they came to do what? They came to worship him. Okay. Verse three, it says, when Herod, the king had heard these things, he was troubled and all Jerusalem and all Jerusalem with him. So Herod was troubled, man. Because he knew, he knew that Yahweh Shai returned is the end of the world. <laughs> Literally. All right, when Yahweh Shai came on the scene, that was the end of the world. That's when the end of the world began. All right, shortly after the Roman Empire, it, it, it went down. <clears throat> Let me read this in Hebrews. This is the book of Hebrews. Chapter 1 and verse 1. Yahweh, who has sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. The heavenly father speaks through his prophets, as it says in the book of Luke, which have been since the world began. It says the same thing, Jose, he multiplies similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. That's how he speaks. OK, by prophets, by men on this earth. Paul being one of those prophets. Matter of fact, we're reading uh, um, a book of Paul. Right. The book of Hebrews. Right. Verse 2, it says, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son in these last days. So the last days started when the son came on the scene. Whom he have appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. He's the heir of all things, and Yahweh Shai is coming to inherit all things. All right, and if we suffer with him, we'll be joint heirs with him, and we'll inherit everything with him. Psalms 2 and 8, ask of me and I will give thee the heathen for thy inheritance and the uttermost part of the earth for, my, for thy possession. <clears throat> In the book of Revelations, the second chapter, it says, Hold fast that which ye have already until I come. He that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, the same shall give power over the nations, even as I have received of my father. Okay, so if we endure and we overcome and we hold fast to our faith until the Lord returns, we're going to inherit all things. Or oh, it says that also in Revelation 21. He that he that overcometh shall inherit all things. Man, oh man, oh man. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. Let me see. I think there's an extra point on that. Now, the, I'll start at, this is, um. Uh, Revelations 21 and verse 4. I'm going to just start at 4. The point is in um, 5 and what I just quoted is in 7. Revelations 21 and 4 says, And Yahweh shall wipe away, and Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. This prophecy is going to happen. Ain't nothing 
um, that Esau can do to stop that. Ain't nothing that these niggas can do to stop that. That these heathens can do. Ain't nothing that nobody can do to stop that. Okay? Yahweh ba Shem Yahweh Shai shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. No more pain, no more death, no more sorrow for the nation of Israel. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. That's the point that I wanted to get, that these words are true and faithful. They're going to come to pass, and they can't be, it's, the scriptures say that his word can be broken. All right? That his word can be broken. His word, his covenant can be broken. His word can be dissonal, dissonal. It says that his word won't return back onto him void. <clears throat> this is Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. All right. The Lord's not the Lord's word is not going to return unto him void. A uh, void is going to prosper. It's going to be accomplished. It's going to take place. It's going to happen. And no one can stop it. it says who has resisted the will? Who has resisted the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai? Not not one person. It's impossible. Okay, so let's go from there. Back to that Matthew chapter two and verse four. I read three again. It says, when Herod, the king, had heard these things, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And when he gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them there. So like he demanded of them where Mashiach Yahweh should be born. And they said unto him in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet. OK. Thus it is written by the prophet. So the prophecy was fulfilled of the Messiah that he would be born where? In Bethlehem, Judea. What prophet wrote about that? The prophet Micah. This is Micah chapter 5 and verse 2. It says, But thou, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me that is to be ruler in Israel, whose going forth have been from of old, from everlasting, shall be ruler. All right. That's exactly what Yahweh Shah is coming to do. And he said, he that are, it said, they that are my enemies that don't want me to reign over them, bring them hither and slay them that uh, slay them but before me. So all you're going to get down or you're going to lay down. You gonna get down, or you gonna lay down, and this is what we're heralding. This is what we're heralding. This is what we're pronouncing. This is what we're proclaiming. This is what we're prophesying. Yahweh Shah is coming to in righteousness to judge and wage war with the wicked rulers of this earth, and to lay down all authority and all dominion, as it says in the book of First Corinthians, the fifteenth chapter, and to set up a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Yahweh Shai is coming. It says that the son of right. It says that the son shall come with healing. Micah or Malachi. This is Malachi chapter four and verse two. But unto unto you that fear my name, cross out I U I C. But unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. So Yahweh Shai is coming to heal, to heal the ones that fear his name. That's walking in the fear and faith of his name and of his word. All right. And then everything else will be healed as well. The earth will. He's, gonna put, he's coming to put everything in order. It says that the physician cutteth off the, a long disease and he shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. Back in Matthew chapter 2, in verse 5, it says, And they said unto him in Bethlehem, Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, the prophet Micah, right? Verse 6, it says, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, art not the least among the princes of, Ju of Judah, as we just read, for out of thee shall come a governor, a ruler, that shall rule my people Israel. Then 
Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him. Also, he is being a, a devil, the devil that he is. All right. Being the, the devil, the snake, the serpent that he is. Because here I was a fucking Edomite, man. OK, this particular hair, I believe this particular hair rod, his mother was um a, a so-called black woman. So he had so he had um so-called Negro features. His hair has some kink to it. His skin has some color to it, like like, like a light skin, you know. He has some melanin. All right. But his lineage, his fathers were Edomites, man. I believe his father or his grandfather was Herod um, Antipater, Herod the Idumian. Okay, I gotta check the if that was his father, or his grandfather. But the point is that the Herods, there's more than one Herod. The Herods, there was Edomites, man. All right, you got the uh, Herodian dynasty, right? This is the book of Matthew, chapter two. In verse 9, it says, when they had heard the king, they, when they had heard the king, they departed and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the child was. When he saw the star, was like it, when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worship him. And when they had opened, they fell down and worship him. But you niggas say that, oh, we're not going to worship him. We don't, we're not supposed to worship Yahweh Shai. This is, he was still a baby at this point. He was still a baby fresh out the womb at this point. He had grown men coming, bowing down. These are wise men. Okay? Who knew the prophecies. They came and bowed before him and worshipped him, man. All that deep shit that y'all niggas try to do, that's don't... <laughs> It don't impress nobody. Or well, impress simple. It says with good words and fair speeches, they deceive the hearts of the simple. All right. But for someone that actually knows what's going on, someone that actually reads and studies the Bible. All right? And really, it comes down to the spirit. If the spirit is dealing with you, man, the Wadi Alba Shami Shai for the spirit so that we can see through these uh, wolves and, sh and sheep clothing, man. So we can see through these false doctrines. So we can see through through these seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, man. The water Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai for the Holy Spirit. I pray that he never take his Holy Spirit away from me and that he never cast me away from his presence, man. Spirit's gonna have to be with us heavily in these last days, man. There's a lot of deception out here. It says many false prophets shall arise and deceive many. So the spirit is gonna keep us on the right path. Them seducing, them, them, some, them seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, these false prophets, they gonna lead, they gonna lead niggas to the path of destruction. And I don't want no parts of that. This is the book of Matthew, chapter one. And verse 11 again, it says, and when they were coming to the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worship him and when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh and being warned of Yahweh in a dream that they should not return to Herod. They departed into their own country another way. All right. And I believe that. All right. A lot of the same things going to happen with us, man. All right. Uh, it could be martial law troops. They supposed to be coming the next night. And I believe the Lord is going to send visions onto us. All right. While we're asleep or uh, send angels to us. OK, while we're asleep, while we're awake, put us in a trance. However, and say, look, it's time for y'all to leave. They come in and they running through this this city to, to, to tomorrow night. Get up, get your family and leave. I believe that's going to be taking place a, a lot in these last days, man. The Lord said he'll pour out his spirit upon all flesh. And they shall dream dreams and their young men shall see visions. 
right? It says, verse 13, And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeareth to Joseph in a dream, the biological father of our Lord, our Savior, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt and be thou there until I bring thee word for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. So he lied. He told the wise men, look, whenever you find that young child, bring him to me. I want to worship him. No, he was trying to destroy him the whole time because he knew the prophecy. He was told the prophecy of the Israelites, right? That. A ruler shall come out of uh, 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 Judea, as we just read. And he was trying to stop that prophecy from being fulfilled. But you can't stop prophecy. You can't stop unstoppable. And the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is unstoppable. Okay? The prophecy says that Yahweh Shai will be born in uh, 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 in Bethlehem, Judah. That's exactly where he was born. Okay. Yahweh Shai had to go up on that cross. So there was no way there. Nothing would have happened. Nothing could have happened that uh, uh, Yahweh Shai's Yahweh Shai's life would have ended early, earlier than it, um, than, than before he had to do what he had to do. His ministry. Right. And going up on that cross and making that sacrifice. There was nothing Herod could possibly do to stop that. In fact, like the brother Matati always goes into, him trying to stop the prophecy fulfilled other prophecies. As we're going to read. Matthew uh, 2 and 13, it says, And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared appeareth unto Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt and was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet saying out of Egypt have I called my son that the prophecy be, may be fulfilled. All right. The prophecy which is written in. Hosea 11 and 1, it says when Israel was a child, then I loved him. And called my son out of Egypt. Called my son out of Egypt. Okay. Going back into Matthew 2 and 15. And was there until the death. There was in Egypt until the death of Herod. That it might be fulfilled. Which was spoken of. Spoken of the Lord by the prophet. Saying the prophet Hosea. Right. Saying out of Egypt have I called my son. Verse 16, and Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wroth and went and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem and in all the coast thereof from two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet. Okay. So two prophecy, him trying to stop one prophecy, fulfilled two other prophecies. This is going to be, we're going to see the same thing today. This dumbass devil, he's going to try to kill us all, kill us all off so that Yahweh Shai has nothing to come back to save. Or you're going to try to see hip all the Lord's people so that Yahweh Shai has nothing to come back to save. You can't stop the will of the, of the Heavenly Father Yahweh. You can't stop Yahweh Shai from returning. You got your uh, weapons, all right, pointed away from the earth. You can't do shit. That's going to fulfill the prophecy. That's, that's just going to fulfill prophecy, man. It says that they were scared and yet durst fight. Okay, where the enemy shall come in like a flood. The spirit of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai shall lift up a standard against him. She's going to activate other prophecies, man. Right? Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet, saying... In Ramah was there a voice heard, lamentation and weeping and great mourning. 
Rachel weeping for her children and would not be comforted because they are not. All right. And you got to pay for that. The damn devil. All right. That damn devil hair. You got to pay for that, man. And all the rest of his nation, all the rest of these heathens, man, everybody on this earth. The book of Nahum says the Lord will not at all quit the wicked, man. Ain't nobody going to get away with, with shit except for the elect because they're covered by the blood of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. In the book of Psalms, it says, blessed is he whose, transg whose transgressions will not be imputed onto him, whose sins will not be remembered. Roughly paraphrasing Psalms 32 in the book of Ezekiel, the 18th chapter, it says, when the wicked man turn from his wickedness onto righteousness, all right, none of his wickedness shall be remembered. Roughly paraphrasing Ezekiel, the 18th chapter. We hoping to be those men to continue on this righteous path that we are on so that we don't have to pay for our for our sins, man. Meaning the bloody hour shy covers us. The precious bloody hour shy covers us, making us pure, making us free from sin. OK, so let's go from there. This is Romans chapter 3. Romans chapter 3 and verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai without effect? Yahweh forbid. Just because you don't believe, that don't mean the, the prophecies is going to stop for your dumb ass. All right. Uh, all the people in the times of Noah, they didn't believe. Did that stop the uh, Noah's prophecy of a flood coming? Of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai send the flood. Did that stop that from happening? No. Lot's two sons in laws. They didn't believe when Lot prophesied, look, the Lord about to rain fire and brimstone upon Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighboring cities. They didn't believe. That didn't stop the prophecy from happening. Okay. So what for what if some did not believe? Is that gonna make the, 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 the prophecy stop? Yahweh forbid. Let the most high be true and let every man be a liar. Right? This is um Second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth. Saith the Lord and caused them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. Like I said in our revelations, prophecies is faithful and true. I mean, they're going to come to pass. Right. The vision is yet for an appointed time at the end. It shall speak and not lie. It's true. It's faithful. It's going to happen. Verse 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. That shit don't bother us none. It's June. Ain't no micro C hip. It's June. Well, now look, nigga. All right, well, as of right now, he's a nigga. Okay. But now look. That prophecy is, 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 is in effect. It's in effect. Soon it'll be in full effect where it's going to be made mandatory. It says, verse 4, For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. All the unfaithful is going to die. If you don't believe the prophecy, just like Lot's two sons-in-laws, they didn't believe what he was saying, so they died in their unfaithfulness. Just like in the times of no. Salaki, like man, the damn phone cut off. I didn't mean to put lower power mode. I should have thought about that. But as I was saying, man, the times of Noah, everybody that came across Noah, they didn't believe his prophecy. All right. And, and look what happened to them. They drowned. They died in their unfaithfulness. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 16. In verse, I'll start at verse seven, just to get straight to the point. It says, the mighty Lord sendeth the plagues. I'm going to just start at verse five. It says, plagues are sent unto you. And what is he that may drive them away? May any man drive away an hungry lion in the wood 
Or may anyone quench the fire in the stubble when it had begun to burn? May one turn again the arrow that is shot of an archer? This is all a prophecy, man. All right, that arrow it, uh, talking about missiles, man. Ain't nobody ever gonna ain't ain't nobody going to be able to stop the nuclear missiles uh, coming. The weapons of the Lord's indignation. Because it's his prophecy. It's his determination to gather the nations and to pour upon them his indignation. May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues. And who is he that can drive them away? You can't stop what's coming. You can't stop the prophecies. You can't stop the famine. That's one of the plagues. The pestilence. That's one of the plagues. The more earthquakes. You can't stop. This devil's going to lose his mind. The, en the enemy shall come in like a flood. The devil shall come down having great wrath. You can't stop that. All right. The CHIP, the MOTB, that's going to be enforced. You can't stop that. Okay. Niggas is going to bug out. They're going to teach. Uh, 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 they going to have itching ears. Right. It's going to be seducing spirits. There's going to be niggas teaching doctrines of devils. We can't stop that. All these things have to take place. All these things have to be fulfilled. The Lord said, I have not come to destroy the law or the prophets, but to fulfill. Okay. Everything that's written must be fulfilled. There was something else I was... Ezekiel. I'll just quote the Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 20 and 12. It says what? Uh, what is this proverb? I'm kind of blue. Right? Now I'm going to have to try to piece this up. But we should be all right, man. Ezekiel chapter 20. It's not 20 and 12. It's 12 and 20. Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 20. Son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel? Saying the days are prolonged and every vision faileth. Tell them, therefore, thus saith the Lord power, I will make this proverb to cease and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say unto them, the days are at hand and the effect of every vision OK, the prophecies will when this thing come to pass, lo, it will come. What thing? The prophecies. Then you shall know a prophet has been among you. That's also in Ezekiel. Right. I will make this proverb to cease and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say unto them, the days are at hand and the effect of every vision. We in the time of the effect of every vision, the fulfillment of the prophecy. Prophecies. For there shall be no more any vain vision or flattering divination within the house of Israel. All the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. For I am the Lord. I will speak in the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. His word won't come back unto him void. That Isaiah 55 that we read. It shall no more be prolonged. For in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word has been said. He speaks through the mouth of his prophets, which have been since the world began. And will perform it. We're about to see all of it be performed. We're really, we're seeing it be performed. Right? Saith the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Having I said, Lord willing, I was edifying, uplifting, and exhorting. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechachorash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, in the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, in the name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Rechachorash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. The Thamash Nakabala is a common shasharala, get double honest to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, that rule well. Shalom wahab la bakhir shasharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom wahab, brothers, keep on pushing, stay sober, stay diligent, stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draweth nigh, and redemption's near than we believe. Shalom.